This is our Aeromarine casting resin, a very durable polyurethane used for molding figurines, uh, prototype components, and a million other uses. The components you see here were cast with our Aeromarine casting resin. The uh, uh, default color of the casting resin is ivory, like you see here. Today I'm going to show you how to mix uh, colorants into, in with this polyurethane. Here I have uh, two different uh, colorants that we sell. We sell a complete line of colorants. So today I'm going to be using yellow and white. Um, you can mix the colorant into either component, but we recommend that you mix it into the B component. The reason for that is the B component is a very light color and it's easier to see how close you are to uh, your target color. So I'm pouring the casting resin B component into my first mixing cup. I'm going to be using equal parts of both components. Then I'm going to choose my yellow, and I'm going to pour in a very little bit. The uh, colorants are very concentrated, which you'll see in just a moment. And I found that if you add just a drop or two of the white to some of the colors, you can brighten the color substantially. If you're doing this, make sure you go very slowly. The white is a very concentrated color, which you'll see in just a moment. See the difference? See how bright that yellow is now? And I think it's a little too light, so I'm going to add just a drop or two of yellow back into it. when I have it the color that I want, then I'm going to go get the other component, prep it for mixing by pouring out an uh, equal amount. Pouring the A into the B now. Notice the color is still consistent. I'm now going to transfer this mixture to my third mixing cup. I'm going to transfer it without pouring out the last few drops. The colorant will stick to the bottom and the sides of the container. When I'm sure this is mixed well, I'm then ready to pour it into my casting. I have a casting here made of our silicone molding rubber. Um, I'm going to transfer the uh, casting resin into this. You can see it there starting to cure. You can see it right there. You can see it change right now as it's curing. From the time you start mixing component A and B together, you have about three minutes to get it into your mold. Um, this product here has cured. Uh, the demold time on it is about 15 minutes. And when you're done, you can see that it is a very solid, very consistent yellow. Uh, you now know how to use Aeromarine colorants with the Aeromarine casting resin to create your products exactly the way that you want. You can see that we have a very broad range of colors, very vivid colors. Um, you can find all of the colors and the casting resin on our website at aeromarineproducts.com.